All right. Teach you how to update some menus. You see, you got this is single platform. So singleplatform.com. Log in with your login credentials. Uh, you and Rittenhouse to share these. So pretty simple. You see two locations here. So we want to update some things on our menu. Click over to Cavs Headhouse. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff in here. Uh, you see some activity like when it was published so you can see October 6th um, I just made a little update uh, September 9th there were some updates made um, 32 people used your menus in September so let's just jump right into menus so menus right so you can do your main menu beer list cocktail list uh, these are the three that are published right now. These are not being used. So we're going to update the beer list. Right there you can see uh, drafts, right? So now one thing I notice is, you know, this is capitalized and this isn't. So maybe that's something I'm going to update right away. So drafts, and we don't save yet. That would be this publish button. Then what it'll do is when you click publish, that's automatically gonna update on your website, but that's also gonna update across the web. So Google, Yelp, some of those other places that link to your menus are also gonna update. Um, and here's all your beers. So you can move them around, right? So if you wanna pull something down, um, you know, you wanna edit, so say we want to edit Guinness, right? There's Look, there's no price on that. So say you might want to add the price to Guinness because some of the stuff you do have the price on uh, as we go down the list. Uh, you want to add a description. I, I think that would be great if we started adding descriptions. None of them are on there. Um, so if we go down to seasonal, you'll see Sam Adams seasonal right there, $6. So, you know, this, this might be, obviously you're rotating the Sam Adams seasonal, but if you want to update uh, better, you would, you would update this to which Sam Adams seasonal this actually was, and then maybe a small description here. Want to add a new one? It's really easy. Same thing. Name, description, price. That's it. Don't need it, right? It's not there. out you know make sure it all matches lager and pilsner belgian sour and wheat and IPA. and that's it so i made those couple of changes real quick uh and i would just click publish and that's it it's published so let's see if it updated on the website Sometimes it takes a couple minutes, but it could be up there. Click menus, beer list. You know, yeah, everything's capitalized now, so you see that those were changed. So, yeah, really easy to go in and just make these changes. You might want to give these some prices. Um, you could your descriptions would file in right underneath here. Um, but you know you probably want to give them all descriptions if you're gonna do that uh, might not be the worst idea people love knowing the ABV of beers so like adding your ABVs in the description would would probably be pretty awesome um, one thing that I didn't show you is you can actually like click on this little photo thing and you can you can add a photo to this and then if you click on it like say if you know, this red breast uh, was a beer, you would click on it and it would actually show uh, as one of these little photo things actually bring up a picture. So, you know, if you wanted that to take a picture of that beer bottle, you could, I, I, I don't know. You can also do this for everything else on the website too. So if you have more pictures of some of this food and you want to fill them in, you know, you can do that. I would suggest it. It's a good idea. People like pictures. So, 
Uh, that's it. There's more to this, obviously. There's reviews, you know. Um, there's analytics. It shows you some cool stuff um, about the business. Um, I like the... Uh, where is it? I like these over here. Schedule an announcement, you know. You can see what's coming up. Maybe you want to do a pumpkin beer on pumpkin day. Uh... You know, it is what it is. I'll let you go from there, but that's a simple version of how to update your menu. Same same thing I did with beer, too. You can do with food and cocktails. Very easy. So, ciao.